When I step on the scene, y'all know me. Cause I walk with a limp like a old school pimp or a real OG. I'm rocking bands, I'm in the sand. I got a Red Bull and vodka up in my hand. Hey everyone, so I'm going to be doing a wearable purple eye makeup today, um, but before we get started, a couple things. So, I know I can tell just by like, looking in the little, um, not camera lens, a little screen, that the lighting is horrible. I feel like it looks like it's foggy in my room, but it's not. It's just really muggy and I don't know like what happened. So, that's how it was in my last video too, and I thought, I, I had a low battery, my camera had a low battery at the time. So I thought, oh, that's why, because with a low battery, probably the quality doesn't work so well. But the camera is fully charged right now, so I don't know why the quality is still bad. I, so then I thought, it's probably the lighting in my room. So I opened the blinds, that actually made things worse, because they're closed now. I tried turning on my little lamp here, and then I turned on my regular light for my room, and that didn't work out either. So for the time being, this is kind of the best lighting I can provide. I'm going to try to figure out what to do. I may have to start doing more tutorials in my bathroom because the lighting's really good in there. So yeah, but um, anyways, one more thing before we get started. So I the other day, I just made my own lip gloss. Uh, I'll post the link of the video where I learned how to below, but oh my goodness, this, I think, I don't want to sound like big headed, but I think my lip gloss is actually a little bit better than anyone else's, not color wise, I mean like for how long it lasts, like I, I put this on before I went to bed a couple nights ago, and I went to bed at around 10.30, and when I woke up at like 2 o'clock in the morning, I could still like feel it on my lips, oh and I wasn't getting up at 2 o'clock, I just woke up in the middle of the night, but so I'll put the link below. I really think you guys should try it out because it's a really fun little process and it works really well. It's more of a sheer color, so it's not very pigmented. Although it looks like it would be pigmented, it's not, but that's okay. So um, anyways, let's get into the tutorial. So I'm not wearing any makeup right now. This I'm just going to be an eye tutorial, so I'm not going to do any blush or um, foundation or any of that kind of stuff. So the video is going to be focused mostly on my eyes. Just to clear that up. Now normally I would say to prime your eye, but I am out of eye primer. So um, I'm going to like what Walgreens or something today with my cousin to get some. So, but that's in a couple hours from now and I don't have the eye primer. And I can't wait into the videos a couple hours from now because I, um, we have to practice for our dance team today. And I don't wanna go out without any makeup on. So, it'd be kind of silly for me to, like, do my regular makeup, go out, buy the eye primer, wash it all off, do tutorial, and put it all back. No, that just doesn't make sense, you know what I mean? So, it's like, I'm not going to do that. But, for future reference, priming your eyes is always a good idea. So, okay. Wait, okay I'm going to go to my BH Cosmetics 120 color eyeshadow palette kit. I know you guys are probably getting bored of hearing that, but, I mean, look at this. It has... I'm sorry, I hit my lamp. Um, it has pretty much every color like imaginable, so why wouldn't you want to use it over and over? You know what I mean? Okay, so the first color let's go. I'm gonna use is this one. It's kind of a dark lavenderish color, and I'm just gonna be placing that on the inner corner of my eye with a Sonia Kashuk smudge brush. looks like this okay so I zoomed in a couple seconds ago and I was doing and I started to record it like I, I said that it was gonna be fo mostly focused on my eyes to record it so you could really see it yeah then the quality got worse again I'm sorry I don't know what's going on with lighting right now so I'm gonna have to be looking in the mirror while I'm doing it but I think you guys like I said know what to do just on the inner corner there. Okay. Do the other eye.
Okay, so I've got that on the inner corner. The next color. <laughs> okay, if you just pause the video, pause the video, and my face was like that there. Probably a priceless picture. Oh my gosh, I cannot. Oh, I lost my black. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. the top, I mean I was holding it together and I guess my hand slipped because obviously the top tray like flew out and I lost my, well I didn't lose it because I put it back in, but my little black pot thing. Okay, let's try this again. I've got that on the inner corner of my lid. I'm going to use this a little bit darker lavender just on the middle of my lid. I'm using the same brush just to clarify. Oh, I'm, just, I'm, I'm recovering because I cannot believe what just happened. I'm wearing a white shirt, so it's good that none of the colors like got out or whatever and got on my shirt because that would not have been good. <laughs> okay. Can you guys hear my parents talking in there? Because I can hear them talking. I forgot to shut my door when I was making this. So if you can, they're talking about um, Food Network, Paula Dean. I don't know if you guys watch it. She made this like potato garlic dish thing. And we have family coming into town. So my mom like was like, oh, we should make it for them. I'm like, mom, we'll have everyone running to go get breath mints after dinner. That'd be really embarrassing. Because <laughs> garlic, obviously, is like, yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> so now that I've got that, I'm going to take the top tray out this time. So that way, we don't have another one of those incidents. So I'm going to take this really shimmery, purple, lavender-y color and place that just on the very outer of my lid. Okay. This is probably the most pigmented color out of the ones that we've used so far because the last color I'm going to use is really pigmented. But anyways, either way, it still gives your eyes a really purple color. Do you guys see how the quality got really bad there as soon as I zoomed in? I'm so sorry. Okay. So... The last color I'm going to use, here, let me get my brush back in. So for, well, first of all, I'm gonna take a Sonia Kashuk crease. Ouch. See the little thing here? I squeezed it onto the, on my skin and that hurt really bad. Okay, anyways. There's quite a few incidents today. I dropped my tray, squeezed my finger in there, the lighting, I mean, oh goodness. Okay, so anyways, is this it's, an, it's almost like the last one, but it's a little bit deeper of a purple. And that's just going to go all into my crease. Okay. It may not look like it in the tray, but once you put it on, you can really see the difference and try not to bring it up to your the coloring up to your brow bone or anything it's not a very good idea <laughs> okay. unless you want really bold eyes but, but they're I think already on on their on their own the eyes are already bold you don't need to 
bring it too far up to your brow bone to make it even more bold. <laughs> okay, so we're done with eyeshadows. Sorry, I'm just putting my two kits away, my brush set, and then my um, BH Cosmetic palette. Okay, so I had to kind of yank it out there. So I'm going to use some, well, that's dark brown, I'm going to black eyeliner. So, and this is uh, Expert Wear by Maybelline New York in the velvet black. Whoa, okay. Sorry, I can't talk when I'm putting my eyeliner on. Um, now for mascara. Really this, really this part is, it's up to you. But because the theme is purple and Falsies comes in a little purple tube, I thought I would just use Falsies Mascara by Maybelline New York. Okay, and then once you got that on, you're done. <laughs> well, for the eye makeup part. So, because the eyes are really bold, I'm not going to put blush on or anything like I said because I'm going to go do some, because it's an, it's an eye tutorial and I think I want to do a different makeup for the day. But, um, if this is what you're going to do for the day, I would recommend a, like, here, let me, let me pull this blush out so I can show you. So this is one of my favorite blushes, the Maybelline New York Dusty Rose Blush. Because the eyes are really bold, so you don't want to do, like, really pink cheeks. Because, I mean, then it would just kind of be too, like, out there. And, and then just kind of, like, a, a really soft pink gloss would be good. So, yeah, that is this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.